Hi, welcome back to the Designer Home Comfort YouTube channel. Congratulations on the purchase of your new stressless recliner. Now that you have this recliner in your house, you're probably wondering about some of the features and how to best take care of your recliner. So in this video, we're gonna go over some of the basics of a stressless recliner so that you can use all the features and the best way to take care of it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So go ahead and have a seat in your recliner. One of the first things you'll notice about the stressless recliner is the glide wheels on each side. So one on this side and one on the opposite. While sitting in the chair, to tighten these knobs, you would go forward with your right hand and backward with your left hand. This will add more resistance to the recline. In order to loosen it, you would go backwards with your right hand and forwards with your right hand. Left hand, I'm sorry. And that would decrease the resistance, allowing your chair to recline more easily and tightening to add resistance. The idea is to set it to your comfort preference. If you prefer it to be slightly more difficult to push back, then tighten it down. If you'd like it to move easily, then loosen it up. Just make sure you do it on both sides. Another thing to look for is to see if your headrest is height adjustable. Some stressless recliners will have a height adjustable headrest, meaning that we can raise this up like that or down like that to adjust to your height preference. Not every recliner is like this. For example, our stressless wing over here has a fixed headrest, so it cannot be adjusted height. And some of our recliners, such as the view here, have a neck cushion inside the back of the headrest, which will allow you to adjust some of that comfort preferences. But that depends on your model. When you look at your ottoman, you may notice that it tilts, such as this one here, away from you, giving it a more ergonomic and comfortable position. If it's locked and will not tilt, or you want it to be locked and not tilt, turn your ottoman upside down. Inside here, you'll find two green tabs on each side. And if you push these tabs in like this on both sides, the ottoman will then be able to tilt. And it should do this naturally to your comfort preference. Generally, when you're sitting back in the recliner, it will tilt away from you. However, when you sit up, it may level out. If you plan on using the ottoman as secondary seating, it's recommended to keep it locked. So again, on the back side of the ottoman, if you even out the ottoman base between these two green tabs and you pull these out on all four sides, this will lock the ottoman and make for a stable seat. Every stressless recliner and even some of the sofas have an automatic mechanism which causes the headrest to tilt forward as you recline, like this. The idea is that when you're in a reclined position and you would like to read a book, watch a movie, or just talk to somebody in a comfortable position, you're not staring up at the ceiling. Instead, your eye line is straight. However, when the time comes to take a nap, with a simple pull of the headrest towards yourself like this, the recliner can be laid flat. Using this sleep mode feature is without a doubt the most commonly asked question that we have. So when reclining back in your chair, push back, and at partial or full recline, you'll notice that this headrest is not in line with the back and set it tilts forward, keeping my eye line straight ahead instead of looking up at the ceiling. However, if I'm ready to take a nap, with my elbows pointed forward, I can grab the back of the headrest, pull it towards myself, and lay the chair flat. Now the key to doing this motion, again, when you recline back first, take the headrest, pull it towards the bottom of your neck without sitting up. To re-engage the headrest, sit fully back up again, and when I recline again, the headrest will continue its normal motion by tilting forward. This is called the stressless sleep position. Now, if when you're grabbing the headrest, you're leaning forward like this, that will not work. In order for this process to work, you must grab the headrest with your elbows facing forward, 
pull it down towards the middle of your neck and release it. And you'll notice that it now does not have the headrest tilted upwards. Instead, it's in line with the back, allowing me to lay down. So one more time, I'm going to recline about three quarters of the way. I'm going to reach behind myself, pull this headrest towards my neck and release the headrest. Since this is without a doubt our most commonly asked question, I'm gonna demonstrate the motion one more time on a different recliner. So this is a classic base Mayfair. Again, as I recline, you'll notice that this headrest is tilting up in order to keep my eye line straight ahead. With that same motion I showed you previously with your elbows facing forward, you can grab the headrest, pull it towards your neck, and release it, allowing the headrest to lay flat. This is stressless as sleep mode. When I sit back up again, it will re-engage that headrest. Now, if it feels like it's a bit difficult initially, it may be because your recliner is brand new and the foam is very rigid in this area right here. The more you do this uh, motion, the more that foam will loosen up and the easier it will become. So practice it a few times, and once that foam breaks in, see if it becomes easier to do. If you noticed here, our recliner is sitting on hardwood floors. The stressless recliner is on a plastic ring, if you're on a classic base, or on a signature base, there are plastic pads underneath the chair. While these are not particularly rough on hardwood, stressless does sell a hardwood protection kit which for the classic base recliners is cut out strips of felt that go along the bottom of the base here. With the recliner turned upside down, you can see what I mean. This is what your recliner on a classic base is sitting on, and this is how it swivels. It would be very difficult to put round felt bottoms on something like this. So Stressless has pre-cut these hardwood floor protectors into strips which can be stuck onto the plastic ring, the swivel ring. For the ottoman, you just use normal round felt bottoms. If you opted in for a signature base, meaning that your recliner has this metal spoke and metal underneath the arms, and your recliner has a rocking motion to it, you can just use normal round felt pads, something like this. We generally recommend using ones that are one and a half inches. You'll need 12 of them, six for the recliner and six for the ottoman. Most stressless recliners are made with top grain leather, meaning that it is real genuine cowhide leather and it is the top part, not the split hide. So it does require some maintenance. Regular cleaning is necessary to keep your recliner looking brand new and periodic conditioning. If you opted in for a stressless leather care kit, like this one, it will come with both cleaner and conditioner. However, most cleaners and most leather conditioners will work as long as it's for genuine top grain leather. If you use the stressless cleaner, you'll clean only as needed. So regular cleaning, weekly cleanings, or if you spill something, we recommend wiping it up immediately if you do spill something, especially if you spill wine on a light colored leather like this. Periodic conditioning is also necessary every six to 12 months and can vary depending on how far away from a window you are. Just like our skin, the leather on stressless recliners is subject to UV radiation and can harden over time. If you notice that your leather is starting to harden, it may start cracking. So it is necessary to go ahead and condition your stressless recliner. Now, if you opted in for one of our stressless USB tables, you may be interested to see how this actually works. The USB table is height adjustable. So by loosening this neck, I can raise it down or raise it up like that. It fits inside the groove of a stressless recliner, as you see here. In order for you to eat, be on your laptop, or just use it as a side table. The nice thing about it being cut out for the recliner and height adjustable is it's multi-purpose use. So used as a side table or if you swivel towards it. 
and bring it up to the seat. You can use it as a laptop or even a lunch tray. There's also a USB port installed on the inside. If you look right here underneath this cover and push that aside, you'll locate the USB port. The USB port has a cord that runs down through the stem and out the back here. Provided with your stressless USB table is going to be a USB to USB cord lay flat. You'll plug this into the bottom of the table like that. Then you'll take your phone charger, so in this case, my iPhone charger, and I'm going to separate the cord from the power source, just like that. The power source will be plugged in to this side of the USB cable provided to you. You'll then plug this into your outlet as such and take your charger cable and plug it into the table. And there you are, you have a cord that is uh, going to charge your cell phone on the table. Congratulations on your new chair. I hope you do enjoy it for many years to come. If you guys do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and we'll be happy to address them the best we can. We hope some of this video has helped you learn about the different functions of your stressless recliner. Some of it may take some time to get used to, like the sleep mode and adjusting these tension knobs to your preferences. But once you figure it out, it's going to be your favorite chair to sit in for a very long time. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Leave us a like if this video was helpful and subscribe for future videos. If you visit our website at slrecliners.com, you can peruse some of our stressless recliners, our best-selling ones, as well as some of the accessories that you may have seen in this video. Thank you guys again. Have a good one.